everyone, Shadow Mario 41 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Soul Calibur 2. We have one final mission in Chapter 1 before we are deemed worthy to undergo this quest. As if Link doesn't already have enough credentials. But whatever. We have to overcome the enemy to gain the trial, or to clear the trial, not to gain it. But whatever. A boss battle against Raphael, who in the story mode is uh, Leon, the Emperor. Oh, this is a tough match. Raphael, for whatever reason, always gives me trouble, but a ring out works just as well. Cleared the chapter, unlocked the feature. Alright, good stuff. Now we can use that in any other game mode, namely versus mode. Pretty good stuff. And the road to chapter 2 has appeared. Here we go. Three missions in this chapter as well. Let's do it. Chapter 2, The Journey Begins. So, it looks like we have a new rival in Leon. And I believe we'll run into him again, but I'm not positive on that. I kind of forgot how the sequence of events goes. But regardless, we have this mission. This mission can be pretty difficult because uh, it's strictly timed, but we have to land 20 hits on the enemy before the time runs out and survive. And we only have 20 seconds. Luckily, Link has that rapid fire attack. That'll allow us to get a lot of strikes in. It's a little cheap by now. There we go. 20. That's all we need to do. But yeah, you'll want to use like a quick hit attack like that. And we classed up. How about that? Nice. We're well on our way to becoming a hero. Already at level 2. <laughs> That's actually not very good at all, but whatever. Um, the village of RK. I think it's RK. I think that's how you pronounced it. But whatever. It's that's what's next. Uh, this mission's actually pretty fun. Um, the objective is to beat the enemy with wind pushing you, and you cannot hold your footing at the edge of the stage. So the the trick is to get obviously on this side and just kind of hit the opponent and don't let him, don't give him a chance to recover. And it'll just like fly off, kind of like that. You know, that was actually really close. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I didn't fail that. But uh, yeah, you just want to stay on that side of the opponent. Not very difficult. Just uh, make sure you don't, you don't do almost what I just did. But anyway, we're about to go into Minker Mine. Um, whenever you see an icon like that on the overworld map, that means it's a dungeon. So dungeons have multiple parts. And they're constructed very similarly to a maze, like Maze Game. Alright, they're not really like Maze Game, but... <laughs> we have to... Na this, is, this leads back out, and we don't want to do that. We have to navigate through these rooms to the boss room. Now this is the first dungeon, so it's going to be very short, but... These can be very, very long. And, yeah, they can be very difficult. It's more so a test of endurance. Also, if you leave a dungeon and enter, you have to redo all of the rooms. Like, you can't enter and then resume to the room you were at if you quit midway. So you pretty much have to go in prepared for a ton of fights. That was pretty cool, huh? Oh, I thought I was going to get perfect. Ow, hopefully I'll survive. Get about perfect. That's right, I win. Uh, you actually gain all your experience at the end of a dungeon, so we'll get a pretty big experience boost when we finish it. Like I said, though, this is a short dungeon since it's the first one. 
The fighters face a gruesome quest. Final battle against Maxi. Well, that was pretty cool. Kill me. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool. Well, I guess I had to show the mission failed scene once. So there you go. That'll be the one and only time it happens. <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen many more times. Alright, no more fooling around. Guard break. I thought he was going to attack there. There we go. That'll be a ring out. Victory for me. Excellent. If you couldn't tell, there's a few characters that I'm like really good against and a few characters that I'm not so good against. Uh, Maxi's probably one of the ones I'm not so good against. But regardless, this little symbol means we have the boss, and the boss of this is Cherat, or Yoshimitsu, but he's Cherat in the story. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It doesn't really matter, but he's the dungeon master, I guess. Now, Yoshimitsu is actually pretty tough to fight against. He has, you have to attack him a lot, because he has a lot of really strange and unorthodox moves that can really hurt a lot. Oh, that was bad. Oh, good. That was close. He almost got me with like a supercharge attack. That would have been bad. See, we got a big boost of gold and we got some experience. And we classed up. We're moving right through the ranks. And he's now selectable. So we unlocked Yoshimitsu. He's actually a... Uh, well, I, I really like using Yoshimitsu, but I'm not good at it. So, you know. There are characters like that in a lot of fighting games. I like their play style, but I'm just not very good at it. Anyway, we have Chapter 3 open. Let's get right into it. This is going pretty quickly, but... Of course, the later chapters will take a lot longer to complete. These are, this is just easy now. So, you see the story right here. I'm trying to skim it over quickly so I can be somewhat informed, but I didn't really do a good job. But regardless, we have this mission right here, the carnival. And the trick is that we have to defeat the enemy with a ring out, but we cannot hold our footing at the edge of a stage. So in other words, we can just like walk right off the edge and lose. That's obviously what we don't want to do. Oh, he's mimicking Yoshimitsu. Alright, this character, Charade. I should probably talk about him. Uh, Charade is... Oh, I've got a ring out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Charade um, is very much like picking random, except with every fight, he'll change his play style. So, like, in a best of three match, he would change his play style for every match, instead of being the same character every match if you just picked random. So, Charade is essentially random, but a little more interesting. A little more variety. Alright, so we can go either up or down. I think I'm going to go up first. Go to the gambling den. And the condition here is that we receive heavy damage if knocked against the ground or a wall. And we encounter Leon again. Lovely. I knew we'd encounter him again. So yeah, the ground or the wall is heavy damage. Look at that. You see that? <laughs> it's actually pretty comical when it doesn't happen to me. Throw him. Yeah, take that. Heavy damage. <laughs> That's great. There we go. <laughs> Add insult to injury with a little 
floor explosion. And we classed up again. See, making good progress. I love it. So now the road to this mission has opened up, but I think I'm going to save this for next time because I'm running a little low on time. This might take me a while. So, this is Shadow Mario 41. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Soul Calibur 2. Alright, that was a little lame, but whatever. See you next time.